Welcome to the high level overview demo of Dynamics 365 Business Central Inventory Plus. In this session, we'll be looking at all the key areas that are included within the Inventory Plus module, such as items, locations, bins, and how to deal with stock take. I will now show you some of the key features that is part of the Business Central Inventory Plus module. The first area I'm going to show you is items. Items is where the inventory starts. When you set up an item, you can set up an item with a unique number, its description, whether it's inventory or non-inventory, as you can have both items within Business Central. Its base unit of measure, is it pieces, is it each? Uh, an item category to uh, categorise your items together so you can filter on particular item categories. And if I scroll down, we have different costing methods, for example, FIFO and standard, and then over to the right hand side we have the gen prod posting group this will determine where the sales and purchase needed to post with a combination of the customer and vendor the VAT prod posting group determines the rate that needs to be charged with a combination of the customer and vendor and the inventory posting group is where in the balance sheet the inventory amount needs to be posted also on the item card we have the unit price how much we want to sell it for and if i go up a bit further we also with the fifo is where our unit cost would be if it was standard costing you'd pop in a standard cost um, and then obviously you can choose your replenishment system and what's nice is you can also add a vendor number and if the vendor has a unique item number we have three different types of unit of measure. We have the base unit of measure, which is how it's held in inventory, which is the smallest it can be. Then you can have a purchase and a sales unit of measure. So, for example, I purchase it in metres, I hold it in centimetres and I also sell it in centimetres. You have that flexibility. So that's everything I wanted to talk about items. Once you have once the item have been set up, they can now be used on the sales and purchase documents. If you'd like more information on purchase and sales documents, please see the core module. So the next area I'm going to go to is locations. Locations within Business Central will be your warehouses. You can have multiple warehouses or if you only have one, you can have the one warehouse. So I'm just going to go into my warehouse from here. You'd give it a code, its address and any contact details. And then from here, you also have the ability to use the warehousing function as much as you want. So you could have uh, shipments, receipts, picks and put away. So if you require a pick and put away, you can turn that on. And also within a location, you can have bins. So bins will define what shelf, what area of the warehouse that the item is. So as you can see, I have some bins here. They're useful because when you have your uh, pick list, so you do your receipt, you can you know where you're going to pick that item from um, or put it away to, as the system will suggest where to put it away. So I'm now going to deal with stock take. So within Business Central, how we deal with stock take is through the physical inventory journal. So within the physical inventory journal, you'll prepare your stock take. So I'm just going to calculate my inventory now, give it a document number. So this document number can be when the stock take takes place. It doesn't matter. I normally do items not on inventory because you might find it even though you haven't got it. And then I've just put a location filter. So you can do a location filter and you can do a bin filter as well. So if you wanted to create separate batches per bin area. So I'm just going to run it now. And as you can see, we now have our lines created. So what the user will do is they can then go and count the stock. Um, there is a report that the user can print out and you can include the inventory numbers, but I normally don't because we want them to count the stock uh, rather than just write the number that's on the piece of paper. So from here, once you're happy, this is then when you'd come in and tell the system exactly what the stock is. What the system will do then is will adjust or negatively adjust a positively or negatively adjust accordingly. And once you're done, you'll post your inventory journal and then that will um, adjust the stock ready to start again. The next area is transfer orders. So transfer orders within Business Central are for location to location. So if you needed to transfer between, in this case, west to east, you could create a transfer order, you can ship and receive when they get to the different locations. 
And the main report that we tend to use for inventory within Business Central is the inventory valuation report. This can be used as a month end so that you can see what's on the balance sheet actually balanced back to what you've got in stock. So this is the inventory valuation report. You can have your expected costs included as well. So that's good for your goods received, not invoiced. So you'll be able to see what you're expecting the cost to be. Um, that's everything I wanted to talk about today. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like more information about the modules, please contact Tisky.